Hi, welcome to Tech Tips with Laymore. Today we're going to discuss the SN300 pull behind sweeper. Today we're going to disengage the hubs and we're going to pull it to our next job site. I'm going to walk you through the steps that are actually inside of your operator's manual, which you can find located in here. I think it's on page 29 or so. We'll walk you through it in a short couple steps. First, we want to do is make sure this broom is in the upright position so that way we're not dragging on the ground. Make sure this parking brake here is engaged while hooking up. We don't want it to roll back. We're on a nice flat surface. We're going to turn this wheel to the right, get you a little bit more wiggle room whenever we're going to attach this to the receiver. And the receiver, in order to get it down, there is a cotter pin on the back side which will pull. Then we're going to pull this centering pin here, lower down to the receiver, attach this here, tight. We have two safety chains. We're going to hook that onto the pickup as well. And of course, our four-way electrical harness, which will be here, which adapts back into the pickup. While we're here, we want to make sure that we have plenty of hydraulic fluid to the brakes and right here as you can see we have a tow position sticker here that lets us know when we have operation and when we're nearing tow right now we're going to turn it from operation to tow now we're ready on this side let's disengage some hubs on each side of the vehicle here we have our hub it's we disconnect, disengage by pulling it out and just turning it counterclockwise and it sets right here. We'll do the same to the other side and then we're good to go. That's it for Tech Tips. Keep wrenching. Thank you.